that. Oh, hey, by the way, today's video is filmed in Mexico. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, gracias uh, for watching the video. Oh, it's a rather snowy, but beautiful and wonderful Michigan day. Um. I don't know why, but like that lawnmower never wants to run in the summertime. I mean, you constantly have to jump the battery and I haven't jumped the battery or ran this thing in like a week and it's just fired right up. So that's running pretty good, huh Gunner? Hmm. I would plow with this, the Kawasaki mule, but like, I don't, what's this? That grass seed? Well, that's some type of seed. Uh, thanks mice. Um, I have no pins for that. Uh, I got my sunglasses so bright out here, you. When you're outside for long periods of time, you should probably wear some. Oh, it's not fitting in my pocket. Oh. Yeah, plow mounts are way back there, and the pins aren't in that. Uh, so I guess we don't. Uh, we probably never plow with the Kawasaki mule. <laughs> I mean, you, you really don't have to when you have this. Um, but I'm just worried like this right here, like that's, that's hard enough I can stand on it. Um, but that's besides the point, like it's only two, three inches up here. I mean, to, to ground, it's not much. So I'm gonna say we don't need the Pioneer. Um, there's no reason why we would need it. Um, if the plow was on the Kawasaki Mule, I would just plow out the driveway, but... Um, I mean, what, what happened to the 10 inches of snow we are supposed to get? Like, we're supposed to get a huge snow blizzard, and here we only get, like, 3 inches. That's crazy, Gunner, right? That's crazy, buddy. Yes, it is. It's just crazy. It's just, just crazy. <laughs> oh, yes, you're just, like, eating it. No. He's like eating the snow skirts at the snow. There you go. Good boy. Yeah, you just uh, you, you just love the snow. Yes you do. Yes you do. Yes. Are your favorite snack gunner? Snow? I like snow, it's pretty tasty. I like snow, it's pretty tasty. Grab a little bit. A little bit of a snack, you know. Woo! Cold! Mmm, refreshing though. Very refreshing. Um, uh, do we even have the plow mount on the four wheeler? Plow with a four wheeler? Hold on. Let's move this tent out of the way and I gotta. I'm missing one of the things, but. Oh, the winch is broke on that one. It's a four wheeler. The winch is broke, so I couldn't even plow with that if I wanted to. That kind of sucks. Uh, well, let's go ahead and see if this lawnmower. Oh. I'm kind of just filming a video just to post online. Let's see if this lawnmower can get out of here. I'm curious if it can or not.
Looks like we got it stuck. Um, kind of got a little stuck here. I don't know once we get it out on the concrete or whatnot if it uh, won't get stuck, but we got to get something to pull this out. I'm thinking this Honda four-wheeler will be a good, good thing for it. Choke it. All right, ah, uh, I'm gonna pop it. Mm, I'm gonna pop a hitch on that, and uh, I'm gonna pull that lawnmower out. I think there's a hitch on this Pioneer. I'm not sure. Okay, yes, there is. All right, perfect. We're gonna take this hitch off. Sometimes these hitches kind of stick a little bit. Oh, I don't need a hammer for this one, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna go put this on. I'll bring, grab the camera, I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna set my camera. Um, grab one of these tiny little ropes. And I would hate to shut the, have to shut that off, but to get the parking brake released, I might have to. If this can't pull it out, I'll have to, so. Heck, I'm just thinking just go like this and just, you know, I mean, that's good metal. It shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't break. Hopefully it doesn't. Right, that pulled it out no problem or uh, we're gonna see if the slime more moves now so there might be snow and stuff stuck under it I'm not sure
we can get a little bit of a run at this. It's not getting stuck, it's not enough snow for it, but I want to see if we can get off this snowbank. Looks like we're stuck. I'm gonna grab that four wheeler. I'm gonna go get unstuck. Digging up gravel and stuff, I'm just gonna just flat tow it back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and get this thing unstuck. Got the lawnmower unstuck, so that's good. Kind of covered up my tracks a little bit. Your hen. The glove got stuck to it. I might have to just like wiggle the door a little bit. It'll open. Come on, little thank you, white hen. Is that right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Got her. Come on. Mm, good boy. My toes are freezing cold and I want to get back inside okay that's probably not good ah well looks like I'll be outside today probably fixing this holy crap look at this board it completely fell down and this one too this board snapped like the to be too much weight there's just a bunch of snow in there looks like he even came down off the top too and ripped it hmm 
That's not good. I I know we got a lot of snow, but I didn't think it would rip. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a new netting. I'm thinking so. Yeah, I don't even know if that's worth fixing. Might as well just cut the net and put a new one up, probably. Sucks me to put some more posts in here and better support for that. Oh. I guess this is what I'm talking about. The the winch ripped right off of this thing. I just tied it up to the front bumper, called it good. Ooh. My big toe's freezing. <laughs> Cold out. This old, uh, well, my, uh, my gloves are really slippery. Yeah. Hopefully this boot trick works. Go ahead and flick that off. Yeah, the old Honda saved the day. You know, uh, the old lawnmower didn't like the snow. I couldn't even get it over there, but I was like, I'm not toting it just to get it two more feet. So, and this, uh, I mean, it's just the, the ground is even sloppy and wet, like it's slush. So, you know. I want to shovel this out too a little bit. I mean, I would go over here and, uh, you know, use this tractor, but I mean, the snow, it's just, it's not quite enough yet. And it's not frozen yet, which it's January. It should be frozen, you know, so. Yeah, I don't even think we're going to be able to pull wood out of the woods with this thing this year. So, I kind of bought it for nothing, you know. That's a cool toy to have. Pioneer's a cool toy, toy too. Cool. Heck, like this plow's already starting to rust, and this is bent a little bit. But, that, the, the Pioneer plow's really good. Don't make the mistake, though. If you're, um... If you're thinking, oh, I want to get a Pioneer, well, talk to people that have six-seaters first to see if you need one. She's like, oh, yeah, I think I'd carry people around sometimes. If you're never going to carry more than yourself, or, God, like, I mean, this thing can fit three people comfortably. If you're never going to carry more than three people all the time, then I wouldn't even get a four-door six-seater. i just get the three-seater. Um, three-seater has hard doors and a hard back to it and it probably the heat probably works better because this thing's just got holes everywhere you know so honda make a full enclosed hard cab for your pioneer oh i know i shouldn't be talking ac add ac to it and add a better heat blowing system 
And then, man, I, I think I would get the six seater, you know. It's nice for the space, but, I mean, really, you know, you don't, it's, it's kind of hard to get around in the woods. If you just want a road machine, if you're just going to drive it on the road, then I would get a six seater. Um, you know, you could probably do Donnie's better in one of these two. You don't feel like you're going to flip over. Oh, I probably should have said that. Oh, hey, by the way, today's video is filmed in Mexico. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, gracias uh, for watching the video. Um, catch you guys next time. Weed Farms.